All right. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I know the weather is certainly heating up here in Santa Monica. So just want to remind everyone as we are entering summer, for some of you who are already there, who've been there, please, please make sure to hydrate. Um, I know it's something I always have to remember to do and remind myself. I just get a massive water bottle and sip on this thing all day long. Otherwise, I forget. So if you've not already had some water, please take a sip now. Let's hydrate before we go. Um, and we have a pretty standard workout today, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I always say it's gonna be fun. Uh, so have a sip of water, and let's actually start on our floor space. We're gonna do the fingertip push-ups to get going. So making your way down onto your hands and knees. Um, get those cycles going if you've not already done so. And we're gonna start just coming onto the fingertips and then dropping all the way down to the hands. Coming onto the fingertips, dropping all the way down. We have 45 seconds and let's jump right into it. So our intervals today are 45 seconds, two sets, up and down, up and down, making sure the wrists are stacked underneath the shoulders. If you're really feeling super bold today, you can do these in plank position. But I'd recommend if you do that, only doing one hand at a time. Otherwise, it's just a lot on the wrist. Otherwise, both hands up and down, up and down. And we can take these kind of fast, specifically even maybe allowing yourself to come off the thumb and the pinky, just lifting up onto those middle three fingers, starting to work the forearm. Up and down, that's success, good. Good, last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the wrist a twirl, a rotate, open them up, and we'll come down for our second set. If that's too much on your wrist, you can take the wrist curl. Otherwise, let's make our way back down. Second set, here we go. We're going up and down, up and down, nice. Good. Starting to feel those bands pumping. Today's Tuesday. For some reason in my mind, it feels like it should be a Thursday. The weekend seems kind of like a long time ago. But we're here and we're working. And that's all that matters. Good. Last 15 seconds. Good. This last one, we're going to lift up onto our fingertips and pulse in five, four, three, Two, lift up, little pulses, up and down. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Giving the wrist a break. Tricep extension and bicep curls. So imagine you're picking up those, you know, 10, 20, however pound heavy weights go really heavy. You can be standing and on your knees. We're gonna take a little bend in the knees, hinging forward at the hips so we can get more range. And I want you to extend the arms all the way back and pull them in. Extend them back, pull them in. And since you have imaginary weights, don't extend to the fingertips. Just imagine you're holding the weights the whole time. 45 seconds, we're going back and in, back, and in and notice that I don't fully pull my fist in towards my shoulders. I just take a little bend, fully extend back. Yeah, there we go. Now see if you're rounding up the spine, pull the chest up, lift and in. And since we're holding heavy imaginary weights for this round, we're gonna wanna go slow, working through that resistance. And also engaging the core. Nice, last 10. We have six, five, nice and slow, four, three, two, and one. Set those imaginary heavy weights down and then pick up an imaginary set of lighter weights. This time we're gonna go through that same range of motion, but fast. Imagine you're holding, say, half as much weight. Pick them up, second set, here we go. Back, in, back, in, yes. Fully extending back the whole time, reach reach. And when we take that hinge forward, we can not only get more range of motion, but we can also get a little core workout here too. Pulling the shoulders down. Extend. Extend. Pulse at the top. That's it. Woo! I'm feeling it. 
I like it. Starting to get into the work. Mm -hmm. Last 15. Come on. Don't stop now. Let me see you go even faster. We have 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, lift and hold, pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. So the imaginary weights down, roll the shoulders out. Take the arms slightly out to the sides, wrists below shoulders so that the bands are doing the work they're supposed to. Give them another roll. Oftentimes as we do our exercises, this is universal, everyone does it, we kind of start to do this. So the more we can kind of release the upper trapezius muscle, the better our exercises will be. We're not hunching, we're strengthening. All right, next exercise, bicep curls, elbows in. I want short range of motion. I pick up super heavy weights. I go in, halfway down, in, halfway down. First set, we're going. My cycle stopped. If yours did, please reset as well. Making sure that we do that between our sets so that our bands don't just stop while we're doing the work. Good, really slow in and down. Now, what if I told you that you were holding double the weight? What would that look like? Mm -hmm. You would be pressing those muscles so hard, it would feel like the bands were gonna pop off your arms and that's growing stronger. Up and down. Mm -hmm. Good, work through it. Now double that weight one more time. Ooh, last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set those weights down, all imaginary. Pick up slightly lighter imaginary weights. For this set, we're gonna do the same thing with the triceps. We're gonna work through it fast. It's 45 seconds, it's gonna get really tiring. Work your muscles to the point of fatigue. This is our last set. Go for it. That's how we grow stronger. On your mark, get set. Let's go. Light weights in, down, in, down. Pumping those biceps. Get them going. Woo. We're working. We're moving. After this, we're actually going to get our heart rate up twice for our upper body today. And then we have two more exercises then we get to get our heart rate up again, and then we get the question of the day. Good, keep going, lightweight. Half that weight, even lighter, in and out, fast, fast. Yes, there we go. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, should be feeling it if we're doing the work. All right, hop on up. First. Boost of cardio with our armbands on today. We have high knees, overhead punch. So I'm getting my arm going. I'm getting my legs going up and up. Second 30 seconds, cross body kick. You can kick, kick, or you can add a hop in your step. Last up, we have good old fashioned mountain climbers. I come down 30 seconds, get them up, get them up. Okay. First 30 seconds. High knees, overhead punch. Here we go. All right. Good. Get those arms going. Now, I'm going to ask a question that we're going to answer after this cardio boot. True or false? When wearing the bands, we want to do strength-based exercises reaching up and overhead. Think about it, we'll answer once this is done. Good, in five, we're gonna go to cross body kicks. We have three, two, one, kick, kick, kick and kick, that's it. Maybe get a hop in there, up, up, up. It's hard to do trivia when you're bouncing around. Yeah, half done, get those legs up, woo! Last 10, open up those hamstrings. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way down, last up, mountain climbers, on your mark, get set, let's go. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, press the floor away with your arms. 
Your hands, work those arms. Last 10, give me everything you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Grab a sip of water, shake it out. Now, that question was, true or false, when wearing the armbands, we want to do strength-based exercises, reaching up and overhead. John, Steve, Chris, you're not allowed to answer. George says false, what else we got? Any other guesses? I mean, it's a 50 <laughs> <better rate. laughs> George, would you like to, Gabe says false. Okay, that's correct. Can someone tell me why? Because the, the, the blood will drain back. Beautiful. If I could give you a gold star, I would. That's perfect. <laughs> we can do a lot of great things with our bands. Quentin gives them a round of applause. Um, but that's spot on. But this defeats the purpose of it. So something like a pull-up, while fantastic exercise, would not be optimized using your bands. So you can do for shoulders. You can do stuff out to the sides. You can do stuff forwards. You can do body weight. Just something to keep in mind when you're working out at home because you're not going to have me every second of every day. All right, next exercise. So that's why a lot of the stuff we do is on our hands and knees or in plank because this just isn't going to do anything. So we might as well do it to get the most bang for our buck. We are coming into a bare position. And the angle is down a smidge. There we go. So bare means my knees are hovered off the floor. If at any point this gets to be too much, Set your knees down and continue the exercise. It is a shoulder tap, hip tap. So I'll angle so you can see. I come into bear, I take my right hand, I tap my left shoulder, my right hip. Switch sides, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. And you don't have to touch the floor in between. You can go shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, however fast you want to do it. But Try your best to stay in bear the whole time. What that does is it not only gives us a little leg workout too, but it also adds more weight to the arm than just having the knee down. So you're getting a stronger shoulder arm workout as well. So first 45 seconds, let's set up together. Make your way into bear position. Shoulder tap, hip tap. Shoulder tap, hip tap. Time's rolling. Nice. Good. Nice, Gabe. Awesome, Jim. And everyone has a nice flat back. I love it. You guys are experts in bear. You know the form and you know it well. No piking of the hips. Those on Instagram, keep it up. Shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Nice. All right. Same thing again. Uh, there's really no way to make this much more challenging except for going faster. But if you're going to go faster, I want you to keep your body completely still. So don't let your body move. Okay. Next set, 45 seconds. We are going. Shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. That's what's that. And keep those knees just one inch off the floor and the legs are gonna be burning just as much as the shoulders here and that's okay. Nice. Good. We are more than half done. Last 15 seconds. Keep those knees low, even if that means moving slow. We have 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give the shoulders a wrist, a roll, a shrug, some movement. Last exercise here, and then we're gonna get our heart rate up again and swap out our band. This one is one of my favorites. We did it, I think, maybe last week. Seems like a lot longer ago. Time is flying. The staggered push-up. The staggered push-up means not one, not two, but three push-ups per side. So I'll come on to plank position. I find my left arm. I take it forward, push-up, 
side, push up, back, push up. And then I do the other side, forward, side, back. So it's staggered, up, side, down. Totally fine to do these on your knees. 245 second sets. First one on your mark, get set, let's go. Come into plank, nice good form. I take my left hand up, side, back. Remember, range of motion, how low you go, doesn't really matter here. Try and get some bend in your elbows, but we don't have to go full chest to floor. Just keep moving and bending through it, alternating sides. So a lot of push-ups. <laughs> Nice. And making sure you're doing both arms. If you need to take a pause on your knees, that's fine. You're still working the muscles of the chest. You're still working the shoulders and the triceps. And that's the goal here. Last four. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Take a chest stretch. Clasp the hands. Pull the backs of the shoulders together. All right. Second set coming onto your knees or into plank position. Ready, set, let's go. Right hand up, side, back. Left hand up, side, and back. If you're taking these in plank position, make sure your hips are staying up, no sagging, taxing out the back. And this is the last one we're doing today for the upper body, so. Let's make it really good and take it slow. This is strength, not cardio. Working through it, last 10 seconds. Nice, see if you can wrap up your last set in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. All right, last cardio boost with our armbands on, ready, set, high knees, overhead punch. Get them up, get them up, knees and the arms. That's it. Good, last 10. Woo, get going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cross body kicks, up up, you can hop or you can kick, depending on what you're needing today. Love to see some hopping up step. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh -huh. Good. Last 10, then we're coming into mountain climbers in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Last 30 seconds, mountain climbers, let's go. Woo, get those knees up. Keep going, keep going. All right. All right, I wanna see an all out sprint. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, grab some water, swap out the bands. The question of the day is, where are you currently working out city-wise? You can go further if you wanna add where in your house you are. And what is the weather there currently? I'll start, I'm in Santa Monica, California. It is 90 degrees, which is unheard of for here. We get pissed off if it's below 60 or above 85. So it's hot. <laughs> What else? Steve says, Huntington Beach, sunny and pleasant. St. Pete, Florida, 85, sunny, a little muggy from John. Nice, you guys get the humidity. Oh, we're babies enough as it is when it comes to temperature in SoCal. If you throw in humidity, we just lose our minds. George says, Arvada, Colorado, sunny and 64. Nice. You guys are still kind of in like a spring thing going on there. Quentin says, Newton, Massachusetts, cloudy and humid. Hmm. Is it hot though? 
I guess so, if it's humid. What else we got? Got SoCal, got Florida, got Colorado. Chris says we are bulletproof. Chris is in Boston. Chris, you're, 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 you're coming out of here. <laughs> Chris says Boston, we are bulletproof, but he didn't say what the weather is. Gabe says Lexington, Massachusetts, cloudy and temperate. Jim says Portland, Oregon, rainy. Nice, and I saw Clinton said it's 75. You guys in your community, I so admire you for doing these workouts in humidity. Although I suppose you probably also have air conditioning, which we don't have here. All right, getting those leg bands on. Maybe Bulletproof Chris can demonstrate eight count bodybuilders later. All right. I'll go ahead and close out of that chat. Okay, so we're gonna start with something different today. This is called the greatest stretch in the world. I actually did not come up with this. Uh, it is the name of the exercise, but I really like it. Um, it's great for opening up all parts of the body. I'll demonstrate, we'll take a minute of it together, and then we'll get into our normal routine. So the greatest stretch in the world, we start in plank position. Just watch, we'll have plenty of time to do it in a second. I start in plank position. I step my left foot outside my left hand. Now, none of this. Get that foot as far up as you can. Then I'm going to take my left forearm, drop it as far to the ground as I can. I reach my left arm up and I step my left foot back. So I'm going to demonstrate one more side to like, kind of explain what we're doing. So this time I'm going to step my right foot outside my right hand. I'm opening up my hip. I'm dropping my right forearm to the floor, opening that hip up even more, reaching the right arm up, spinal twist, and stepping the right foot back. So it's a lot of different things that are going on here as we're doing this, and it's really good for opening up the body, especially the hips, if you've been sitting a fair amount. If you haven't been sitting, it's pretty great too. All right, so alternating side to side, we're gonna take one minute, my time's going, come on into plank, and we'll walk through it together. So I step the left foot up, drop the left forearm down, reach that arm up, twist, take it down, and step back. And this is my pace, but because right foot up, forearm down, twist, and step back. So now that you know the move, that's my pace. Find your pace. I encourage taking this really slow, especially when you're trying to get that forearm towards the ground. That is one of the best hip opening stretches that I know of. We do it a fair amount in yoga. So Move slowly through this. We have a whole minute. Even if you only do like two sets, the point is open everything up before we do all the work. Good. We've got about 15 more seconds here. So maybe see if you can do one more set each side. Plenty of time to go fast. Nice. Good. Last six. And we have four, three. Two. Now we're going to come out of this together. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, give the knees a pedal. So opening up the calves, the hamstrings. And I want you to find the L shape between your pointer finger and your thumb and use the tension between those two fingers to press your hips up and back even more. So think about making a smaller V between your belly and your thigh. Fantastic. Good. Keep pedaling the legs. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two. Bend the knees. Walk your hands back to meet your feet or your feet up to meet your hands. Doesn't matter. And come on up to stand. So we don't usually get a stretch in the beginning of our practice, but it's just that kind of day. It's just it's right. So we did a lot of sumo squats yesterday. Today we're going to resume that sumo position to help strengthen our calves. So we're gonna take a little bend in the knees. This part doesn't matter so much. I'm gonna lift alternating heels up and off the floor, 45 seconds. If you're feeling super wild today and you can keep your knees tracking with your second toes, you can do both at once, okay? You want more of a challenge? Get lower. But we've got plenty of work to moderate. First set, here we go. Either alternating, or both at one time. And the reason that we're doing this in the sumo squat is just to add more tension, more weight 
to make the exercise harder on the calves. So if this is too much, you can back out of it a little bit. And if you're needing more, you can get really low. Ooh. And I'm doing alternating. So my calves are kind of tired after yesterday. And this is perfect. Yeah, side to side, doing your best to keep your hips, your upper body completely stable because we're isolating the calves here, pressing the outer edges of the knees back. We have three, two, lift the right heel and hold it, pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, yeah, four, three, two, and switch, left heel, eight, seven, six, you thought we were done, four, three, two, and one, release it, parallel the feet, draw some circles, move the hips around, and work it the other way. All right, second set, angle the toes out. If you want to try both heels at once, now's your time. Here we go, up, down, up, down. My shoulders are stable. My hips are stable. My legs are shaking. Yes. <laughs> and why not? Try getting really low. See what that feels like, even if it doesn't feel like something you want to sustain. Play with it. Just because it's exercise doesn't mean we can't play around and have some semblance of fun. It doesn't have to be serious. Hopefully we can laugh at ourselves. Good. Last 10 seconds, then we're gonna lift both heels up and pulse. Check your knees, make sure they're not getting floppy. For six, five, four, three, two. Both heels, little lifts, up, up. Yes, eight, seven, six, higher, five, four, three, two and one and if that doesn't make you feel something i don't know what will good job our first exercise of the day is also going to get our heart rate up for us it's called cross hop squat so i come into a squat cross hop squat cross hop squat cross you got the idea alternatively if you don't feel like jumping you can squat step squat step Okay, a little bit easier on the joints, but the hops can always be nice and soft. So 45 minutes, step the feet slightly wider than hips distance. You can angle them out ever so slightly. We're going in three, two, one, squat, hop, squat, hop. That's it, keep going. Nice, keeping the weight in the heels, chest up nice and tall, we don't wanna get slouchy. After this, we're gonna have a sip of water, and then we're gonna go right into our next exercise. We don't have to worry about the cardio boost. This is getting our heart rate up. Awesome. Who's that? Quinn looks good. Nice, Diane. Wonderful. Gabe looks good. Chris looks awesome. Lily's got it. Jim is gone. Perfect. No alterations. Just keep doing what you're doing for four, three, two, and one. Rock the hips side to side. We're gonna go right into our second set. Know that we get a water break after this in three, two, one. Here we go, cross, squat. Yes, and each time you come into that squat, see if you can get a little bit lower. Work your glutes, we're working our quads, we're also working our heart rate. <laughs> nice, awesome. And do whatever you want with your hands. Anything that feels natural, like hips, holding, head, doesn't matter. As long as your chest is up, your spine is being supportive. Mm -hmm. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Don't stop now. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Grab a sip of water. Catch your breath. And go ahead and take a gaze at the screen while you're taking your break so I can demonstrate our next exercise. So I call this one not a full around the world, but a partial around the world. And any exercise that we do that I call around the world, because we're moving around in all parts of the body. So this one's a lunge, squat, lunge. I rotate over to the right. I lunge, squat lunge 
squat, lunge. You got the idea. Making sure here that our knees are supported. So as we come into that lunge, it's tempting to hinge like so. I want you to keep the knee stacked over the ankle, get the back knee down, roll back through center, hips come back, drop that back knee down. So as we do this one, there's gonna be a natural temptation to do this. Hips back, chest up, knees do not shoot forward past my ankles, so we're driving back, okay? First set, 45 seconds. Doesn't matter which way you're going because we're going side to side. Three, two, and one. Uh, lunge. Squat, lunge, squat. We got a lot of lunges and a lot of squats today, in case you couldn't tell. Some of the best moves for the lower body. And so for squats, we're primarily working glutes and we're working quads. With the lunges, we're also getting into the hamstring. So we're getting a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And when we do a lunge, we're also getting ankle mobility because the toes of my back foot are tucked under. So I'm getting a little stretch there. Good, last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step your feet wide in the squat position. And go ahead and walk your hands down your legs. Come into a forward fold. Keep those legs nice and straight. If you can touch the floor, touch the floor. Take a little bend and alternating knees. Pedal out the legs in forward fold. And then roll back up to stand. Let's work into our second set. Three, two. One, I go lunge, squat, lunge, squat. Good, nice form. Try and get that back knee towards the floor, maybe tap the floor, and try and get your butt down towards the floor when you come back through center. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. I love it. People's feet are staying in place. That means we're able to rotate and we have enough range of motion in our bodies that we can rotate through the hips and get into those different movements. That's a really good thing. Last four, three, two, and one. Let's get our heart rate up. Then we'll take a sip of water. High knee overhead punch. Three, two, one. Let's go. Get them up, get them up. All out, all out, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cross body kick, go. Up, up, that's the stuff. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm keeping my spine straight. None of this, up. Up, get those feet going, yeah. Last 10. Then we're coming down for mountain climbers in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Mountain climbers, on your mark, get set, let's go. Yes, keep it up, keep it up. Oh my goodness, Gabe is flying. Woo! <laughs> All right, give me everything you've got. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Freeze and plank. Press your hips up and back. Pedal it out. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll up to stand. Grab water. Awesome. Those are some killer mountain climbers. Okay, we have three more exercises, one more heart rate boost, and then we're gonna work into some different stuff, some more core-centric stuff. Three more exercises. One of them's an eight-count bodybuilder, which maybe Chris will have to demonstrate, we'll see. All right, next up, squat to opposite elbow. It's a squat and lunge kind of day. I come down into my squat, knee to elbow, squat, Knee to elbow, opposite elbow. You wanna make it harder? Yes, I like it. Squat, knee to elbow. Squat, pick it up. That does not mean this, it means this. Straight spine, okay? Your choice, first 45 seconds, go down. 
up, down, up. Other alternative. That's it. Get your butt low. Keep your knees high up towards your arm. Yes. Don't worry, Chris, I won't make you demonstrate that. <laughs> Good, amazing. Last eight, seven, six, five, four. Nice, Jim, three, two, and one. Awesome, all right. Kick it out. Second set, either hands together or hands behind the head. Go, squat, up, squat, up. Getting those knees up, involving our core in our work, keeping your spine straight, no making a cave. Nice. Got people in all different time zones. And with the exception of some rain in Portland, I'm a little jealous. It's pretty toasty. <laughs> Good. Last 10. Okay, give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Last heart rate boost of the day. Kick the legs out. We'll take some water after this and do our last two exercises. High knee, overhead punch. Ready, set, go. Get them up. Good, really extending the shoulders, reaching those fists all the way up. Go, 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 that's it. Woo, get those knees up even higher. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cross body kicks, up, 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 yeah. Maybe you don't let your heels touch the whole time. I don't know. Ooh wee. Kick it up. You've got it. Last 10. Then we're coming down. Final mountain climbers of the day in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down to the floor. Mountain climbers, we're flying, go. Keeping the upper body as still as possible, bringing those knees in towards your nose. Use your core, use your arms, use your sides. Nice. Oh, I can tell we're getting a little tired, but the work still looks really good. We're gonna take a full minute of rest after this before we gear up to do our last two. Good, last four. Three, two, and one. Hop on up to stand. One minute of rest. Grab water. Try to keep moving around. Keep your heart rate up. Or at least don't let your body freeze and build lactic acid. Keep kicking around, moving around. All right. Okay. You guys have 30 more seconds of rest. And while you're taking that, I'm gonna demonstrate our second to last exercise of the day. Lateral lunge to forward lunge. So I'm gonna demonstrate this head all so you can see it. I take my right leg, lateral lunge. I go out to the side, bending into my right leg. Pressing through the heel, come back up. Forward lunge, we know this move. And each time you press into that right leg, think about putting the pressure into your heel and squeezing your butt, okay? So let's demonstrate one more time on the left side. Lateral lunge, I bend into my left knee. Try and get as low as you can, come back up. Forward lunge, that's the stuff. Um, and we're gonna go side to side. We're gonna do our two sets. So switching sides each time, right, left, right, left. Okay, we've got it. First set, go, 45 seconds. Um, do whatever you want with your hands. And up, if you wanna make it harder, hands behind the head. But because we've been doing a lot of work today, being really mindful that we don't get slouchy if we do that. So if you're gonna take your hands behind your head, really do this and not this. We're going, we're going, we're going.
And keep in mind here, something that I don't think we necessarily talk about enough, or we could always afford to talk about more, is if at any point you feel so tired that it just doesn't feel like a good idea to do the exercise, don't do the exercise. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to call you out. Give yourself that rest out break. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. We do a lot of really hard work. And sometimes if you just need a pause, you need a pause. Okay. I know that everyone's doing their best. Okay. Big breath. Second set in three, two, one. Here we go. Lateral lunge. Forward lunge. We go side. We go forward. Now, if you want an extra challenge for this set, don't let your foot touch the ground between the two lunges. Hover, forward, hover, side, hover, forward, hover. But I want to see you take the lunges, not fall into the lunges if you keep your foot up. Last 10 seconds. See if you can maybe do two more. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Last up. Eight count bodybuilders. Does anyone want to demonstrate? Or do you want me to do it? You guys are like, yeah, right. Anyone? Anyone? All right. I'll do it. So I start up standing. John Doolittle taught me these, and every time we do them, I'll give him a shout so you can thank him. So it is eight count. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want even more, give me a jump at the top, okay? We're doing one minute of those, and we're coming up to stand for balance work. One minute, here we go. I'll start them off with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep it up. Totally cool to drop your knees on the push-ups. And if you don't feel like doing that plank jack out to the sides, you can step, step, maybe make it a 10 count bodybuilder. You got the idea for the move. Good. 20 more seconds, don't stop now. Let me see some jumps at the top. Why not? Go big. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nice Jim. Last 10 seconds. Let me see at least one more. I mean, that's an eight count body builder. First six, five, four, three, two. Come on up to stand. All right. We have balance and then we have core and we'll wrap it up. So balance is partially core. I was going to ask true or false, but it is true. We'll just work through it. So think about how much you can stabilize through your body center, your powerhouse. Every single movement stems from right here. So if we can engage this, we're basically, as Chris says, bulletproof, okay? So starting with the hands on the hips, we're gonna work into the right leg. So shifting your weight into your left leg, my shoulder comes over my hip, and I just start to lift that right leg up and down, keeping this shoulder in line with this hip up, and down, high as you can go, outer edge of the foot. We have four. We're gonna hold it in three, two, lift and hold, eight, seven, six. Use your core, your hips, five, four, three, two, and rest. Right to the other side, up and down. We have six. Shoulder in line with hip, you have a book, or maybe that 20 pound weight from the beginning of your practice on top of your head. Nice, last three. Two, lift and hold, outer edge of the foot, toes pointing forward for seven, six, five, four, three, 
to and rest. Give the hips a rock side to side. All right. So let's march, alternating knees into the chest. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to work into it. We're going to make it harder. Good. Last four, three, two. We're going to meet with the left hand to the chest and hold it. Option to hold here or start to kick that leg forward. Bring it in. Kick it out. Bring it in. We have four. Nice straight spine. Three, two. Last thing. Kick it out and hold it. Little kicks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and rest. Other side, kick it out and in for six. One leg is gonna be easier than the other. That's just how balance goes. Three, two, kick and hold, pulse it. We have eight, seven, straight spine, six, use your core, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, let's continue diving into our core work. We have, Three moves, 30 seconds each. The first one, I bring my knees into my chest. I go back and down only with the arms. Back and down. After that, we're going to do only the legs. Out and in. Then we're going to hold everything for 30 seconds. So it's 30 seconds, just the arms. Try and keep your head off the floor. Fully reach back as far as you can. Then only the legs. Then we hold, so we're working into it. First 30 seconds, arms ready, set, and go. Just the arms. Back and in. Speed does not matter here. What matters here is how far you're reaching back and that every vertebrae of your spine stays rooted into the floor the entire time. We don't wanna let our back arch. Now this is easy to keep the back down when we're doing the arms. It's not so easy when we're doing the legs or when we're taking the full hold. Keep going. Three, two, one, just the legs out and in, 30 seconds. Good. Now notice that your back may want to lift here. Keep pressing it into the floor. Pop an imaginary $100 bill under there. Good. Nice, Lily. And last 10, then we're going to take everything, reaching it out in opposite directions. Amazing, Clinton. Five, four, three, and two. 30 seconds, hollow body hold. We're going. Now, if your back is starting to lift off the floor, kick your legs higher up towards the ceiling. If you're wanting more of a challenge, kick them lower to the ground. Hold it. Pull your navel in. Reach your fingertips in line with your ears. Breathe through it. You can do it. Your core should be shaking. Last 10, nine, eight, seven. Pull the belly in for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, knees into the chest, rock side to side. Drop both knees over to the left. Keep your shoulders rooted into the floor. And bring the knees back through center. Drop them both over to the right. Shoulders stay down again. Pull the knees into the chest. Rock and roll up to sit. Maybe rock and roll all the way up to stand. Hands to thighs. Pedal out the legs. Now I want you to keep your heels rooted into the floor here the whole time. None of this. Keep your heels down. If you can keep your heels down, you can start to walk your hands lower down your legs. But as soon as your heels lift up, you've gone too low. Do, do, do. Good, last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a bend in the knees big enough so that you can reach your fingertips into the floor. Keeping your fingertips rooted down, I want you to straighten your legs as much as you can. Rebend them. Straighten them as much as you can. 
and re-bend. It's going to be super shaky if you try and straighten your legs. That's what we want. We have four. Bend. Three. Yes. Two. Straighten as much as you can. Hold it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees. Roll it nice and slowly. Once you come up, shake your head side to side. Give it a rock, ear to shoulder. And give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job, everyone. Thank you very much, as always. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Great job, Gator.